Hi, Chris with RC Worst here today, and uh, we're going to take a look at the No Lead Stainless Steel Pressure Tank T Assembly. These T's are assembled using the finest parts and products that we have to offer. We build these kits to uh, provide our customers an easy way for them to gather the needed parts for a quality tank T assembly. Um, in this video, we'll go over each part and why it's necessary. First we have the American Granby 14 inch stainless steel tank T and this also has a union. This is for easy disconnecting and reconnecting to the, uh, to the tank and uh, if your system ever needs to be serviced or the tank replaced this is going to come in handy. We have um, over on this side here we've got an AY McDonald no kink hose bib. The no kink hose bib is quite important because these uh, tank tees typically lie pretty close to the ground and it can make um, hooking a hose up or getting the hose to not kink um, very difficult with a standard hose bib which typically comes out at about 90 degrees so the nose ki no kink hose bib makes it really easy uh, to empty the system. So what we have here on the other side we have the we have the Wilkins um, pressure relief valve and this is basically uh, an insurance policy. This is going to save your system if the pump ever malfunctions and doesn't shut off um, or if the system builds up too much pressure for the piping in your house to handle. So uh, this relief valve is going to keep your pipes and so forth from bursting but it does need to be checked on, on a somewhat regular basis to ensure that it is functioning properly. Um, so the nice thing about the pressure relief valve that we offer um, compared to other pressure relief valves is that um, this pressure relief valve is adjustable and I believe it can be adjusted from between 75 to 175 pounds. Um, then moving right along we have our pressure switch. This is made by Square D. As far as I'm concerned the Square D pressure switch is uh, cream of the crop and um, in terms of quality and reliability uh, Square D definitely has made a strong name for themselves so that's why we've selected this particular component. Um, we have attached here the stainless steel nipple. Uh, I find it pretty important to use the stainless steel nipple in this particular spot on the system because uh, stainless steel is going to be uh, less receptive to uh, hard water buildup and um, iron buildup as opposed to a traditional uh, steel nipple or something along those lines. Additionally, we have just a standard pressure gauge and um, the pressure gauge, this particular pressure gauge uh, is an American Granby pressure gauge and it's uh, of, of nice quality. It's a liquid filled gauge so you're going to get nice accurate reads from the gauge. Um, so that's a nice component that is included with this tank T assembly as well. Now this assembly does come unassembled so you will have to put it together when you receive it. We do include um, a roll of Teflon tape to ensure that your, uh, your threads are not leaking and um, make sure you've got a proper installation. If you're working with extra stainless steel um, or you've got components in your system, you know, most of the piping is going to be in stainless steel, I'd recommend picking up a couple of rolls of our uh, stainless steel um, pipe uh, Teflon pipe tape because it's a little bit thicker and, um, and it tends to help with the, some of the troubles with stainless steel, minimizes galling um, and also is going to um, be a little bit, as it's thicker, it's going to help fill those gaps because steel, stainless steel specifically is such a hard metal. Uh, additionally, just throwing this um, kind of on top of, uh, of the recommendation of the stainless steel tape, if you're working with a lot of stainless steel, um, it's recommended that you use both the um, thread sealant in, the, um, in this format as well as the tape. So it kind of, they work together and help to fill the gaps. Um, and it also helps to prevent galling, almost acts as somewhat of a lubricant. And um, you want to remember, of course, when you're doing stainless steel fittings, you want to always thread things very slowly to prevent that galling and that permanent damage. Other than that, you shouldn't have any problems. So you can find this, all the other great products that we talked about today on rcworst.com. If you found this video useful, be sure to like and subscribe for more like it. And uh, we'll catch you next time.